Two years ago, I posted a video titled, The One Apologetics Book Every Christian Should Read in 2020. The book I recommended there was Greg Kokel's Tactics. Classic book. If you didn't get Tactics, be sure to get a copy. There's a link in the description box. It's 2022 now, and I'm going to recommend another book for this year. And I'm recommending this based on something that happened several years ago. This was back in 2013. I had a debate with an atheist at Columbia University in New York. After the debate, I was hanging out with a group of young atheists. They were all Asian, six or seven Asian atheists. And they were asking me why I believe in God and Jesus. And I was explaining why I believe in God and Jesus. And after a while, one of them said, you know, I don't care if Christianity is true or not. I only care that it's bad. And that was really, really strange to me, not caring whether something is true. I mean, I criticize Islam a lot, but if it were true, I would want to know it. So after making sure I understood this young atheist correctly, I went down the line and asked each one of them if they agreed with what he said. And every single atheist agreed that they didn't care if Christianity was true. They only cared that it was bad. And I realized that I was giving arguments to people who really didn't care about arguments. They grew up listening to Richard Dawkins and Christopher Hitchens and Sam Harris, and they had been conditioned to have overwhelmingly negative feelings about Christianity. And their feelings made arguments irrelevant. The anger that these young Asian atheists had against Christianity was kind of puzzling to me. I was an atheist in high school, and I knew a few other students who were atheists. We all thought that Christians were wrong. We all thought that Christians were gullible. We all thought that Christians were just people who believed whatever their parents told them to believe. But we didn't have this idea that Christianity has been this violent anti-science plague on humanity for 2,000 years. The attitude was more like, yeah, we get that love your neighbor and do unto others had a positive impact on the world, and that may still help some people now, but we don't believe in all this nonsense about miracles and heaven and hell. Fast forward two decades, and Christianity had suddenly become the source of everything bad in the universe. The vast majority of history's wars were fought over religion. Total nonsense. Christianity has been at war with science for centuries. Total nonsense. All of the major figures of the scientific revolution were Christians of one sort or another. Suddenly, what was once generally thought of as good, even by people who didn't believe in it, was now thought of as bad. And notice, this happened to different beliefs as well. Right after the view of Christianity changed, the view of America and the West changed. If you remember the 80s and 90s, was America good or bad? It was awesome. Were Western nations good or bad? They were awesome. Perfect? By no means. Flawed? Yes. History of massive screw-ups? Absolutely but good or bad? Good. Now they're evil. Like Christianity, they're the source of all the world's problems. Fast forward a little more down to the present, and everything that was once good is now evil. Every institution that was once good is now evil. Every person who was once good is now evil. Mother Teresa, evil. George Washington, evil pretty radical change in such a short amount of time, and it looks like we're just getting started. So what happened? Lots of things, but the most important thing was that certain people realized how quickly they could manipulate other people using the internet. And the quickest, most effective, most efficient way to manipulate large numbers of people is by enraging them, giving them something to hate. And once they're enraged, they no longer care if something is true. They only care that it's bad. Their feelings have overpowered their reasoning ability. So what do we do? Unfortunately, there's no easy solution here. There's a lot of work to be done. And this isn't something to put off until later. The most important thing we need to do, given the cultural shift, 
is to make the impact of Jesus on the world common knowledge. It used to be pretty common knowledge. It's no longer common knowledge. And the kind of manipulation that relies on enraging people against a position usually only works in an atmosphere of ignorance about that position. Assuming the position isn't actually evil. If it is actually evil, then you don't need manipulation to make it look bad. But if a position is good and you want to make it look bad, you have to manipulate people into hating it. And that usually only works in an atmosphere of ignorance. So what do we do? We get rid of the atmosphere of ignorance. We make the impact of Jesus common knowledge. That's why I'm declaring that the one apologetics book every Christian should read in 2022 is Person of Interest by cold case detective and former atheist J. Warner Wallace. Person of Interest is about the uniqueness and the impact of Jesus. And it's not, well, here's what the Bible tells us about Jesus. It's here are the facts that we know about Jesus and his impact. Facts that anyone can investigate. Now let's try to figure out why this man was so special. Learning about Jesus and his impact isn't just something that Christian apologists need to do. It needs to be common knowledge in families, in the church, in society, and ultimately around the world. So find a way to read this book in 2022. Now, for those of you who are looking at this book and thinking, um, that book looks kind of big, I mostly learn from videos, David. Not so fast. This book is on the long side of apologetics books, and reading isn't as popular as it once was. But here's a fun fact for those of you who don't think you'll read 250 pages, even though there are lots of pictures. If you don't have time, or you don't think you'll take the time to read an entire book that covers multiple topics, you don't have to read the entire book. You can pick a topic you're interested in and focus on that topic. So instead of reading the entire book, you could study one chapter and learn that one chapter well and share what you learn. You could even learn one important fact. Guess what? If a thousand Christians each learn one important fact and they share those facts with others, that is a lot of information they've just injected into society. So if you're a Christian, get a copy of Person of Interest. The link is in the description box. And if you're not a Christian, if you're an atheist or a Muslim or a Hindu, you should get this book too. Whatever you believe about Jesus, it's always a good idea to make sure that it lines up with reality. And Person of Interest is a really good place to start.